I'm here to tell my story. I'm the matriarch of my family. Um, we moved to the Selma area in 1986. I, I moved here to have a clean and, and beautiful place to raise my children. Um, they, I wanted a wild and free place, a place where we could be close to almost being off the grid, to live close to the land. Um, the gravity spring water is just such an asset. That was kind of the clincher of why we bought the property. It's a box-shaped canyon uh, at the end of a road, so it's totally private. Um, well, wh I wasn't aware that um, they're going to be clear-cutting our forest right next to us. We adjoin uh, private timber land. And so now that that timber has been clear-cut, they have um, started spraying. And we had no clue that they would ever be doing such a thing. Um, my grandchildren were out playing one day when the helicopters flew over, and just sprayed the whole hillside and it just uh, had to have swooped right down into our little valley. Our house is just right there. And our livestock, our children, our grandchildren are all there playing. And so we didn't think a lot about it, but uh, not long after the children started getting sick. And um, the little two-year-old began to get uh, uh, very serious asthma attacks to where she was hospitalized over and over again. The five-year-old developed uh, stomach pains. Um, her white blood cell count is haywire. We're trying to get to the bottom of what's wrong with her. Uh, so then I started to uh, call the Forest Service, different agencies, to see what I could do to find out about what was going on there. And um, they, they wouldn't uh, disclose what kind of chemicals were used. Um, so we just didn't know how, quite how to fight it. That was like a year ago, so now it's been two years since they've gotten, um, since they first sprayed, and they sprayed again with backpack spraying. And so uh, they continue to get sicker, more family members uh, are ill, and, and our livestock is, um, some of them aborted, and so we're not sure if that's related, but it's all things that happened after we moved there, uh, and this started two years ago. Well, we called the Forest Service and the Department of Agriculture, um, and I don't quite remember who else it was, but uh, those two in general. Um, and someone did come out and looked at the proximity of how close it actually was, because it was like you could throw a baseball to the bottom of the hill where they, the spray uh, landed. And um, they did say that they would help us. Um, I think that they had them come back with just the backpack spraying. I was okay with that because I didn't know that that was even so dangerous. But um, they didn't helicopter spray after that, just the one time. But up till this point, they've sprayed twice. And we would just like to know, you know, give us some warning. Um, I'm not expecting um, great big miracles overnight, but if they could at least warn, warn the public that is adjoining the, the land that they're going to be spraying, to give us some kind of a heads up so we at least won't be home and not send our kids outside to play. I think that's just terrible.